Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace. If you need a website, head over to squarespace.com slash Paul Messner for a free trial. So today's video is a bit of a follow up from the recent video that I did about camping gear that I've stopped using. I thought today I'd go through some of the bits of camping gear that I wish I'd bought sooner. So if you've been following the channel for a while, then you've probably seen that I've got quite a lot of camping gear. So through trial and error, uh, there's some of that gear that if I got it a little bit sooner, then it probably would have made some of my earlier camps a little bit more comfortable or a little bit easier. Uh, so I'm going to talk about some of those bits of gear today. So the first thing is walking poles. So back in my early days, I just thought that walking poles were for for old people really, um, or someone who's maybe got an injury or something. Um, so I was a little bit naive and ignorant. But I picked up these carbon fibre poles in the bargain bin at Sports Direct for only a fiver. So a bit of a steal really. All that was missing was the little uh, rubber bits and the baskets off the end. So uh, they can be easily replaced. So since I've been using these, I've found it much easier when it comes to going downhill. Um, definitely helps with stability on you know, some of the more um, challenging bits of terrain. And also, you know, they come in very handy when it comes to setting up tarps. So when I'm bivy camping, you know, these form the, the pole structure for my setup. So a very useful bit of gear, and I wish I'd got them sooner. So the next item of camping gear that I wish I'd got sooner is a long spoon. Not very expensive, probably about a tenner, but I did tend to use just a regular size spoon and it made it really difficult sometimes for getting into the dehydrated meals. You ended up getting all food around the tops of your fingers when you're digging it out of the bottom. One of these longer spoons makes it so much easier. So I recommend it if you like um, dehydrated meals. Next up is a very cheap item. So getting a good night's sleep is really important when you're camping. And there's lots of noises such as wind, wildlife and things like that. So having some earplugs definitely makes a difference for me. Um, you know, it drowns out a lot of the sound from flapping tents and it takes up no room in your pack and they literally cost pennies. So when I first started camping, I never used to use earplugs, but I didn't really get a good night's sleep. But I use these all the time now and they really make a difference. Hey, this one is an expensive one. And I've only recently got this. It's the Garmin InReach Mini satellite communicator. Um, this could literally be a lifesaver. Um, but the main thing that I've been using it for is for just communicating, just to let Joe know that I'm all right and that I've made it safe to camp. There's been so many times when I've been up in the hills, I've not been able to get a signal. So it's, this is, this is like an insurance policy for me when I go camping. It's not cheap and there is a subscription to it, but for me, it's worth the money and I've been putting it off too long. So I'm glad I've got this in my kit now. Before I get onto the rest of the gear, quick thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring the video today. If you don't know who Squarespace are, they're a, a platform where you can easily set up a website of your own. You don't need any sort of experience. They've got these templates that you can just drop and drag your own photos and your own text. Um, so simple to use. So I've been using Squarespace for a couple of years now and it's really helped to promote my online presence. So if you'd like to have a website of your own, then why not head over to squarespace.com forward slash Paul Messner. You'll get a free trial and 10% off your first purchase. This one's just a quickie. Nalgene bottles. Uh, <laughs> these are a really useful bit of kit. So I used to use things like contact lens bottles, nail varnish remover bottles for fuel for my stoves. But since I found the Nalgene bottles, I've been using these for loads of stuff. Not only fuel, but things like oil, uh, milk powder, so they're only a couple of quid and I've never had one of them leak on me. So yeah, I'm glad I've got these in my kit now. So next up is my jet boil. So I actually had this one bought for me by a subscriber. I'm really grateful for this, but yeah, it's a really good bit of kit. Everything's compact and I've used it loads and loads. It's easy to just stick in the back of the car. So when you're out for a day hike, you can easily boil water quickly. Very efficient and it's never let me down. I have got a bit of a stove addiction, but you know, this would have come in really useful earlier on you know, in my camping journey. 
So this is another pricey bit of gear. It's the Sea to Summit Everlight Extreme. Now, I've been toying with buying a Sea to Summit pad oh, for 18 months. And this one is by far the most comfortable sleeping pad that I've used. And it's really warm. It is a bit bulky though, but that extra bulk is worth it for me. Um, if you can't afford something like this, then the Trekology UL80 is not far off when it comes to comfort, uh, but nowhere near as robust or um, as warm as this one. I've tried loads of different sleeping pads and you know, this makes all the difference for getting a good night's sleep. I really wish I'd bit the bullet and got a Sea to Summit pad earlier. I've also got the Sea to Summit Ultra Light, I think. Um, again, really comfortable pad. Doesn't have any insulation, that one though, but I think it's the design that they've got with these little air pockets. And it, it makes for you know, a really good night's sleep. So wish I'd bit the bullet and got one sooner. So next up, I've got my quilt. A quilt has probably been the biggest game changer for me when it comes to camping. Um, I've never really felt comfortable in a sleeping bag. I've always felt too constricted. And these, you know, give me the comfort that I want. Doesn't have to be this particular one. This is the UGQ Outlaw. So this is a sleeping bag slash quilt combination. So you can zip it all the way up if you want to, or use it as a quilt like I do. I've got another three quilts as well. Um, one of them synthetic and the rest are down. So they compact really small. Um, yeah, I'm definitely a convert when it comes to quilts. They're not for everybody, but you know, if you are the sort of person that likes to move around a lot and plenty of room, then these are definitely worth a go. Should have got a quilt much, much sooner. All right, so the last thing that I'm gonna talk about is backpack. So it's not this one in particular. Um, this one's the Osprey Talon 33. But in general, I wish I'd got some smaller backpacks sooner. So I started off with like a 100 litre Bergen. And then the next one I got was an 80 plus 20 litre Berghaus Bergen. And because I had such a large pack, you know, I filled it to the rafters. So no matter what time of year it was, you know, I was always, you know, going camping with way too much gear. So I've learnt since then that I don't need all that gear and you know a smaller backpack like this means that sometimes I have to make choices about the gear that I take um, and it means that I'm not taking too many luxury items that I don't really need so it's been a game changer for comfort um, so I wish that I'd got some smaller uh, volume backpacks sooner. I'm sure that there's some other gear that I'll get in the future that will replace some of this and then I wish that I'd got that sooner. Um, let me know in the comments below if you've got anything that you'd wish you'd got a long time ago. Um, but that's it for this one. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.